Well, it's time for another little descent into madness. Hopefully something that'll get you thinking. Okay, I'm hoping for thinking. I know perfectly well in 90% of the cases that is not going to happen. I'm hoping, though. So, as we take another little walk through memory lane, we come to today's topic. Now, today's topic for some of you may hit home, but it's one that's near and dear to my heart, mainly because I'm a cheap bastard. But anyways, today's topic is tipping. Personally, I am not a fan of this. I think you could have figured that out from the comment, I am a cheap bastard. But, there are legitimate reasons here, and I plan to state them over the next 20, 30, 45 minutes. And then it's up to you to get the little hamster in your head spinning, and think for yourselves. Oh God. Still, anyways, let us continue. So, this has been, this topic has been in my head for a while now. But it really got to me this weekend. Now, this weekend, for the most part, pretty much went like it normally does. I won't go into really how my neat weekends normally go because that may or may not be a future show. But let me just put it this way. We went, me and my brother, went to the Ohio Renaissance Festival. If you've never been there, I urge you to go. But I do also urge you to buy your tickets at Kroger's or get the coupon at Wendy's or whatever. Because the full price is not worth it. But... Anyways, we went to the Ohio Renaissance Festival. Good time. We walked around, saw all the shops, but they had these little shows going on. Now, these shows, for the most part, were not historically accurate or period specific or anything like that. They were basically just there to entertain the folks, watch people in costumes do silly skits, and inter keep us entertained. Hopefully make up for having us pay $17 to go walk around a bunch of shops and buy overpriced food. Again, though, not getting into that. I still say it's a fun time. I just think it's a little overpriced for what you're getting. But we all of these shows almost, the performers were begging for tips at the end. They're like, this is how we make our living, folks. If you should come and tip us if you like the show. Come and tip us so we can afford to eat. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is how we make our living. The one people were even like, tipping's an American custom. And if you don't support tipping, you don't support America. Guess what? I don't support America. Again, that's another show entirely in and of itself. But... I don't support tipping, and it's not an American custom, it's a European custom. And in early American days, it wasn't even supported by the general populace. They thought of it as bribery. So, yeah. And I'm sorry if the Renaissance Festival is being cheap and not paying you, but I'm sure you had other options. And if you didn't have other options, your show wasn't that good to begin with, so yeah. Um, but all their shows were pretty good, so I'm sure somebody would have paid them to put it on somewhere else and probably paid them more, or at least equal? I don't know. But basically, it was annoying me. Then we went to... Uh, Frisch's big boy. Our waitress sucked. She was new. And though she kept their drinks filled, she was just not very good. 
I, I don't even, it's just, she kept bugging us about taking orders. It's like, look, we're looking at the menu. We're not, stop bugging us. She brought our food. It took forever, though. That might not have been her fault. That might have been the kitchen. But still, the service, I would consider subpar. And I don't want to feel obligated to tip for subpar service. I mean, yeah. So then the next day, I went out to eat at a Mexican restaurant here in Piqua. Now, the food there was pretty good. The service was good. And, again, we tipped. Now, back when I was younger, tipping was considered 10%, which, I mean, that's not a whole lot, but 10%. And it's a hidden fee that you probably don't process your paying when you decide to go out to eat. It's like, oh, we got to add an extra 10% to this because we've got to tip the guy. Because you don't want to not be tipping because, woo, you might spit in your food or whatever. But you got to bribe them to give you good service for the next time you come in. Because if you don't bribe them, you're going to get crappy service the next time you come in. And you're going to like, why weren't my drinks kept filled? Well, fucking put a fountain drink over there and you can walk your ass up and go fill it yourself. Then again... I don't mind going and filling my own fountain drink. And I don't mind walking up to the place and getting my food. And I don't mind walking up there and putting my order in. So, I don't really need a waiter. <laughs> but I know plenty of people who, like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be served and waited on because I'm special. Well, you're not as special as you think you are. Anyways. But again, so, but now it's, if you give a waiter like 10 to 15%, it's like, well, that's, that's an insult for a good waiter. You should be giving them 20%. I should be giving them one-fifth the bill? Well, they're paid a ridiculously small amount of money. Why is that my problem? If other jobs are available, which they are, then go get a different job, and then they still need to fill that position, so they realize they need to pay people more money to fill it, and so they'll pay people more money to fill it. It's the basic fundamentals of capitalistic economy, supply and demand. People accept that low of wage for that job, so it's my fault they're stupid. I guess it is. But none of you people are stupid, right? I've never been a waiter, though. I have worked in numerous retail jobs over the years, and I have worked in the food industry, and all of these things... But I've never actually been a waiter. But I worked at a Papa John's one time. And for those of you who don't know, Papa John's is a pizza chain who mostly does uh, carry out and delivery only. I do not believe they have any actually dining rooms. So you either come up to come and pick it up or the delivery driver comes and brings it to you. I know how much some of these delivery drivers were pulling in and they weren't paying taxes on it and they go out and take some pizzas to some buck, come back with 10 or like 5 bucks, 10 bucks, whatever the pizza was. They get their tip. They're giving a mileage for their car plus their hourly wage of like 2 something. They're making far more than minimum wage and you're bitching about how little you make. Yeah, I have a uh, something for you. And it's in the middle of my hand. For those of you who get what I'm implying. Anyways. I wasn't making that much. And so it's like, you're making more. I'm doing most of the work. All you're doing is driving this to their house. Again, this was before GPS. and But gas was a lot cheaper. And it's just like, why? Why? I'm cleaning, 
I'm making the pizzas, I'm keeping everything here stocked, I'm doing all this, and I'm making minimum wage, you're making more than minimum wage, and you're doing a whole lot less. So, how is this fair? It's not. It's not fair for the people who are working. Because either the pe tip people are making more than the other people that are working harder than they are, or they're making less than the other people that are harder than they are, so, what? I mean, if they're making less than the other people that are work that the other people are working harder, I really don't have a problem with that. You're not doing as much. You don't get as much. But a lot of these places are like, well, we're paying you two thirty an hour, so you need to go keep busy because we're paying you. And it's like, yeah, they can do about half as much work as you expect somebody else to do. Is you're not paying them the rest. And it's been brought up in numerous lawsuits that that's not fair. You can't expect them to do a full hour's work when you're not paying them a full hour's wage. And it's disproportion. I mean, for example, our bill at the Mexican restaurant, I believe, was around $31. 20%, that's like a $6 tip. I think I left five. Ooh, I'm a horrible person because I didn't tip him six bucks, but whatever. Still, he didn't spend a whole lot of time on us. Definitely not an hour's worth of work, and when you consider he's probably making at least $2.50 or $3.15, whatever the minimum wage for tipped employees here is... Let's say two fifty. So that's six seven fifty. Minimum wage is eight. He just made more made more than a minimum wage employee and did less work. At the same time he was waiting on at least three to four other tables who had at least as many people in our party, if not more. And even if they only tipped fifteen percent, he was making out pretty damn good. Now, I understand that when it gets really busy and hectic in there, yeah, you're running around like a crazy person, but it was neither busy nor hectic, and you, yeah. And then, along with tipping, you also run into the whole racism thing, because it's been shown in numerous studies that white people tip more, because white people, we're white, we're sometimes stupid. And that's all it is. We're white. We're sometimes stupid. That's why we tip more. Because we're like, we're, we're, look at me. I got money. I got to show it off. Black people buy a bottle of Hennessy. White people throw down a $15 tip. I enjoy the Hennessy more. All I'm saying. So. But the servers then know this. I mean, you have to if you're an experienced waiter or waitress you know that the white people are going to tip better than the black people on average. And the white people are going to tip better than the Hispanic people on average. So, who are you going to spend more time on? The white people who are going to tip more on average? Or the black and the Hispanic people who aren't? You're going to spend more time on the white people. Again, bribery for good service. Now, I'm all about rewarding good good service it's a motivation for people but that's not motivating good behavior considering that most of the time when you go to a restaurant these people are not exceptionally knowledgeable about the menu these people do not go over and above their job description in waiting on you their job is to Take your order, take it back to the kitchen. The kitchen makes the food and they bring it out to you. Their job is to go fill your drinks. Um, That's their job description. When I work in my numerous retail jobs, did I get tipped for fulfilling my job description? No. And you can argue, well, you made more per hour than they do. Yeah, but overall, they made more money than I did. And they made theirs tax-free. 
which I'm sure the IRS is all kinds of happy about, because we know how they like to take, 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 take the money. But again, it comes down to the fact that, A, you're basically bribing them to give you good service, and that's never good. Second, it there's racism involved, because we white people are stupider and tip better in general. And finally, there's the whole the guilt trip involved. When the wait stat when people who go into a restaurant like a sit down restaurant, not necessarily McDonald's cuz McDonald's doesn't do tipping. And you know what? I like McDonald's and Taco Bell and Arby's and Wendy's and all these places that don't really that you don't tip. You go in, get your food and eat it, and you're fine. That's what you wanted. But all these other places, you go, well, the wait staff's only making like two something an hour. You should tip because you're barely making enough to get by. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, is that my fault? Let me see. They took the job. They knew how much they were going to be making per hour. And they go, well, you'll be making tips. Well, they agreed to this. It's not my job to even out their pay because they took a bum deal. I mean, when you go into a job interview, if someone says, well, we're only going to pay you six bucks an hour, but uh, we might pay you more, and somebody else is paying you whatever for, yeah, you, most people pick the best job for them, and you could say, well, they, this is the only people that will work with them, and da 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 and yet I run into people all the time that aren't like college students that are older people that are waiting tables and maybe it's the only job they can get but I don't think it is and I'm sure they have a lot of free time to where they can go and do something else I mean I have quite a bit of free time but anyways it's not my fault you made a bad decision and and most of the time if I'm out by myself I don't tip the only time I tip is when I'm out with my girlfriend slash whatever the frag she is okay that's a whole nother issue we're gonna not gonna go into tonight because that's just I, I don't know what you classify that as right now. But anyways. And again, it it's more because I'm like, oh, well, hey, I don't want to get the guilt trip from her because she's a big enough pain in the ass most of the time. Um, But also because I'm a man and I have to impress the woman. Me, man, me impress you by leaving big money for waiter because I don't need it. I have plenty of money. And most of the time, it really doesn't hurt me that much to leave it. But if I went to do good things with that money, just think of all the money you left for tips that you could just, if you just had money to throw away, you could donate to a charity. You could do something good with that money and not spend it on something the restaurant should be spending it on. I mean, if the restaurant wants to raise the price on some items, okay, raise the price on the items so you can afford to pay these people a decent salary and do away with tipping there's no need for it and you know what especially gets me when you go to an all-you-can-eat buffet like a golden corral or a chinese buffet or whatever and all they do all the wait staff does is bring your drinks that's all they do the fountain drinks right over there and more than once i've gotten up and refilled my own drink because i didn't want to wait and yes, people, you can do that. I know, sheep, don't try to run out of your pen. But anyways, you can go up and fill your own drink. They're not really going to stop you. They might go, right, you're back here. It's like, Cause I wanted to refill and you were being a lazy fuck. Oh, God, I said fuck on YouTube. They're going to ban me, Bubba. I'm drinking, and that probably wasn't a good thing. 
you're going to hear me drink, and you're going to be like, what's he drinking? And for those of you who's wondering, I am drinking really cheap Diet Cola I bought at Aldi's. It's Diet GT Cola by Summit. Tastes like a weird caffeinated, carbonated bubble gum. Not bad, but I'd rather have Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke, which I also have downstairs, but I didn't. I bought it, so I figured I'll drink it and stretch out my good pop supply. But yeah, I mean, there's no reason to... There's no reason to tip in a lot of cases. You don't tip bussers. And you go, well, they might have to split their tip with bussers. I mean, in buffet restaurants, the waitresses could be buffer bussers, and you could just pay them as bussers, and they could also do, like, mild bring you drinks. In most cases, you could just have them be the bussers and pay them as bussers, and then we wouldn't have to tip. If you got to raise prices a little bit, I know you people are like, oh, we don't want to raise prices. Well, in some cases, Bubba, it might be a good idea. I know a lot of you don't know how economics works. But anyways, we're coming up on the 21-minute mark, everybody. Yeah, I think I'm going to do these descents into madness. I don't think I'm going to try to do them quite often. Um, just a little audio editorials about my thoughts, what I'm thinking about. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to do, and, well, you people might learn something, and I can talk, and I like to hear myself talk. I know, it makes the voices in my head be quiet when I talk, so. <laughs> but, yeah, so the next time some dumb busser decides to go, you should get me 20% or 15% or, and I would say back to them, well, what did you do that was so special to deserve that? Well, I did my job. Okay, so the next time you go to Walmart and buy something, make sure to ta tip your cashier 20%. Like, that's not fair. Why not? I only get paid do 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 an hour. Well, Mr. Dumbass, that's not my problem. It's your problem for being a dumbass. And I know people are going to get mad and they're going to complain and say, You don't understand the plots of the people who are bussing the tables. And I'm going to say back to them, Well, hillbilly, go get yourself a book and read about it. Because you know what? Again, you made a bad decision. That's not my job. If people refuse to work for that amount of money or go get other jobs and let those jobs have to be filled, they will raise the amount they're being paid. Or if enough people say, we're not going to tip, they will be raised to compensate because nobody will want to do those jobs anymore. So, in other words, all you people telling us to tip and how bad you are and how bad your job is because you're only getting paid this much are keeping your job bad by supporting a system that is bad. Yeah, you're fucking retards. But anyways, that's it for today, and maybe there'll be one tomorrow, maybe not, maybe sometime this week, maybe not. But watch my YouTube and Facebook and wherever I still try to load, throw, blah, 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 blah. Wherever else I decide to throw the link, and yeah, thank you and have a good night.